I've had this Alienware R417 for a couple of years now, and uh, I keep running out of memory or uh, space on my hard drives. Um, keep having to delete games and whatever else. So finally found out that there's several open bays in there. So we are going to add a new SSD to this. Um, just a terabyte should be plenty for now. Um, there's actually two open bays, but we're going to show how to do that. Okay, so to get started, of course, you need your laptop. Um, you also need to pick up an SSD that's compatible. These Samsung 970s are pretty cheap uh, comparatively um, and are pretty awesome. Next, go ahead and flip your laptop over. And what we're going to do is these little screws on each side here. There's about seven of them, three on each side and one back in the middle. Just need to unscrew those and uh, this back shield will pop off. Make sure as you're unscrewing these that you keep these screws somewhere safe. They're pretty tiny. Now this middle screw seems to be attached to the metal plate, um, but once you have that one undone, uh, basically what you're gonna do is you actually have to pop the sides off. So as you kind of feel around the sides, this is probably the hardest part. Um, you'll feel it start to pop off. Let's get a lay of the land. You've got your HDD slot, your SSD1. Here's where your RAM goes, your SSD2 slot, and your SSD3 slot. We're going to be focused on the SSD2 slot. So up close, that's this slot right here. Um, take this little tiny screw out. Sorry, I already did it. Didn't have it recorded. Right next to it is a mini SSD slot. I've, I've never seen one of those before, but as I was looking for them, you can find them. Um, here's the SSD I'm going to be putting in. Um, so what you're going to want to do is right here at the end, you're going to slowly push this end in. Just line it up with a little notch and then kind of slightly wiggle it back and forth a little. It'll pop in and then you just push this side down and screw it back in place. It might take a little uh, finessing to get this to go in there. And you don't want to go too tight on that, just a, a light finger twist. Um, and again, this is a, a mini SSD that's open here. Um, I've seen these for sale, I just don't know exactly what they're called. All right, so we're gonna put this shield back on. Um, you've got that middle screw that, of course, is attached. Um, you've got these little lips, that, like kind of like teeth, um, that you'll see they kind of snap into place when you push them in. Um, you can start with the corners um, and push them down. You'll hear them kind of, you'll feel them pop into place. And then, of course, you're going to want to start screwing in. Start with that middle screw and then uh, do the edges first. And it's right about here that I'm realizing I could have sped this up, but um, you know what, if you want to follow along with me, uh, overall this is an entire operation that's under 10 minutes long, so by all means, uh, fast forward a couple minutes and we'll get to the next spot.
but you may have noticed me using it, but you don't need like a fancy screwdriver set. I'm just using a drill bit or like a screw bit for my um, power drill uh, that has kind of a nice little fine point. Um, but I like using this because it, it forces you not to over tighten. All right, so after that, just go ahead and boot your laptop back up. Once you're booted back up, go down to your search and type in disk management. You should immediately see a screen pop up that says initialize disk. Uh, from here, I just chose the GUID partition table. It's the default option. And then hit OK. Now you're going to see all three of your disks now here. You've got your disk 0, 1, and 2. Uh, 2 isn't fully showing up just yet, so go ahead and click on it and hit new simple volume. A wizard's going to pop up here. I just hit next through all these options, just using the defaults for each. Um, hit next again. You then have the option of assigning a drive letter. I just left mine uh, as default as well. Uh, next screen that pops up, you can actually name your drive. So I'm just going to name mine gaming. Uh, that's going to be almost entirely what it's used for. I also left the option for NTFS. Then hit finish, and that's all there is to it. Your drive is now complete. And now when I pull up my drives, I see my new one, my filled drive, and my half-filled drive. Mission successful. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. I absolutely appreciate it. Excellent work. Take care, everybody.